Hello LEGO friends, Matt from Bricks Bricks here, and today it's time for another update on the In Progress Airport Mock. Stay tuned and let's see what I've been working on. Welcome back everybody. It's been a week or two since I provided a mock In Progress update video on the airport. I figured it's time to go ahead and do that. Because I have made a bit of progress um, since the last significant update. And I know not everybody has a chance to join my live stream, so this is a chance for you to see what I've been doing over the course of the last week or two during the streams. Uh, I'm going to kind of move this around a little bit to try to get it in frame better, so my apologies for that. But as you can see, first floor is, with the exception of a couple things here, basically done for now with what I'm happy with. I still have to do a bunch of stuff on the side here. Um, this entire section right here still needs to be flushed out and finalized, but basically internal work is done. Everything's tiled, everything's in place. I'll go ahead and take the other floor off in a minute to show you that. Um, but what I've been working on now is working on the second floor. So let's take a look at the first floor real quick as a quick summary. <laughs> real quick as a quick summary. And then I'll show you the work on the second floor today. All right, first floor is removed, and here is a look at this sucker. This is bigger than I expected when I started this project out weeks ago. But I'm honestly really, really happy with where it's gone and how it's come out. Um, as you can see here, we've got baggage claim area, ticket counter area, and a kiosk. Got the central core elevator here. This is an up and down stairway. Got the kind of the travel office area, like car rental, taxi, bus, all that good stuff. Kind of the central area for that. Really digging that. I'm really, really fond of this secondary doorway here. This is just to get in and out. I've shown all this before on previous updates. Um, I did want to go a little bit more in depth into the back corner here because this is newer stuff that folks may or may not have seen. This is the security checkpoint area, which I'm very happy with. Kind of walk through the x-ray machine there. You got a place for bags to go on. This is the office for security. Folks come out here, grab their bags, put your shoes back on and all that good stuff theoretically. And then take the escalator, that's what that's supposed to be, an escalator, you can't tell, there's little fluted pieces in there to give the impression that it's an escalator, ride the escalator up to the second floor where you go for your departing flights. Um, right over here, it's got kind of another walkway space, just a random sign or kind of an advertisement, we've got a unisex bathroom, fully detailed. Sink, toilet, hand dryer, toilet paper, all that good stuff. <laughs> Another bench, and then something that I'm very proud of. It's hard to see here. Um, oh, I forgot. Custodial closet, too. Lots of stuff inside there. <laughs> Try to turn this around without breaking it. A lot of stuff jam packed inside that custodial storage closet. And then this other door right here leads into kind of a HVAC control room. And then it's gonna be really hard to see at this point, but underneath there is also kind of a data rack, servers and networking equipment, all that good stuff too. Since I'm an IT person, it's something I wanted to include. I did it in my office building. I'm gonna keep doing it more and more now. So I'm very happy with all that. You can also see there's some piping that's kind of running up into the building there just to kind of make it look a little bit more real but that's the first floor let me take a let me put the second floor back on and we can take a look at that all right look at the second floor so you come up the escalator here and approach the second floor first thing you see as you come out again this is not 100 percent done it's almost there got a nice kind of coffee cafe shop so you can pick up some beverages and treats Good stuff there. Pretty well detailed here. I'm pretty happy with this. I just got to finish off some of the work around the sides of it here. And I want to put a sign and a, like a menu board and all that stuff up there. So that's pretty much almost there. 
just a little sticker decoration or kind of impression of like a painting or something. There is the second floor for the elevator, and this will go up to the third floor. It's going to be actually up to the control tower, technically. So I will continue that up. It's also going to be used for, you can tell by the hole right there, used for my wiring when I do light this up. And then moving along here, that's the stairway to go up slash down, especially when you're departing your flights, go down that way. Just, I put some lockers here just for the moment. I'm not sure I'm going to do with those, but I do want to have them in place. Um, this area here is going to be kind of the waiting in the gate area. I'm not sure if we're going to have one or two gates here. That's still to be determined in progress. Um, wall here and a wall here. That's being left open deliberately to give the impression of this continuing further back because this is supposed to be the front end of a much longer terminal facade. That's kind of the idea here. Is it's half real building half facade. Um, so it's a work in progress here. This is a, another unisex bathroom. Again, pardon the use of that door. Just pretend that it's covered. <laughs> I might get something later to change it out, but for now it's the best I have. And what you see right here, this is kind of the current work in progress as of the recording of this video. This will be kind of a small gift shop or newsstand you know, drink, drinks and kind of whatever kind of shop. This back corner right here is actually going to be kind of the food area. I want to make this like a pizza and burger kind of shop where people can go to get some quick fast food while they're waiting. And then again, this will be the main waiting area for the gate or gates, plural, depending on how I work this out. I am not going to wall off the suction technically. I'm just going to do a couple things here. Um, I haven't decided how I'm going to do it because right here, created from the offset of the Technic panels, I've got a slightly different height here, um, and I do want to put up basically a, a wall of windows um, with a couple of offsets here, um, just to make it look cool, I think, and then we'll have at least one area for like the jetway down and all that good stuff. I have yet to figure all that stuff out. It'll be coming as this is all a work in progress. And I'll, again, all this is subject to change at my whim <laughs> as this entire first floor changed a lot over the course of a few weeks of building this. But right now, that is where the airport stands. This has become a massive project, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm trying to make use of parts I have on hand as best I can without really ordering anything else. And I'll tell you what I really am doing, especially these uh, 1x2s and 1x3s in white. <laughs> so... That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed that look at the airport. Again, in progress. I believe this is part five. Um, I did do a short that was part four, basically. And we'll definitely have more to come. I will continue building this on live stream, so stay tuned for all that good stuff. And eventually, this will get done and put into the, uh, the city. But as always, I do want to thank my subscribers in particular for watching. Always appreciate your support. If you haven't, please be sure to hit the subscribe, hit the like, leave a comment thought below, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Thanks again for watching Brooks Brooks. Until next time, this is Matt saying see ya from the airport in progress.